Hello all. Today we are going to discuss about the digital tags in the on and off controls in the WinCC SCADA and the varying analog tags in the WinCC SCADA. So this is video is totally for the education purpose and this is for the basics for the beginners. So let's go to the starting of the video. Open Cinematic WinCC Explorer. Go to file and create a new project and single user project ok and my project name is test and have to create the project and here view we have got our project open and we have to assign some tags so we have to go to the tag management and create new tags good open and we have the tag management window this is our internal tags we are going to create our internal tags because we are not connecting to any other devices so my first tag will be digital so I just given as D and my data type will be not unassigned which will be binary okay we have only 0 and 1 values so it will be binary so the next one next one will be analog so I given as A and that will be 32 bit or 16 bit values unsigned 32 bit values okay as defaults so we have created our track managers D and A then we have to close this and go to the graphics designer here we go to our graphic designing window so first we have to place a switch and a value display and then going to close everything we have for giving switch we have the display library so have to click on the display library you can see the displays operation planet elements everything you can get from the display library you can click on the preview for getting the proper views okay, click on the preview and create giant icons you can go through here global library displays and you can see the displays from here this is our digital output click and drag from here uh, we have placed our display for the digital tag and have to go to the operation operation buttons launch buttons launch and buttons 3d everything you can explore from here buttons 3d increment or decrement buttons keyboards screen buttons and the screen navigation every types of buttons we have here is available and we have the on and off toggle switch we have to put an on and off toggle switch first this is my on and off toggle switch here we go down two things for the digital operation next we are going to put a slider for the analog operation go to sliders here you can see the slider one and I am placing my slider here here I got my slider we are varying up to 0 to 100 and I am going to place my new tank for getting tanks go to the plant elements go to the plant elements and have to we can see the tanks here go to the tanks and I am placing my tank 3 this is my tank and I am placing my tank here and close my library there close my library you can see that I can align, can align these things the value displays and my slider everything have used in this scada have to align it first one more thing we have to place what is the value display for the analog so go to the IO field you can see that IO field is here double click on the IO field you can see that IO configuration first our tag will be analog so go to the tags 
and this is my analog tag A I have previously defined on the tag management click A and OK and update how many times how the cycle that have to be updated which I am giving the upon change on every change that analog tag should be displayed or updated that is the update and go to the the field type which is an output which I need to be only show the output only so go to the output and ok this is my IO field and I have to double click on it or right click and properties and right click on properties output or input you can double click here here you can see a upon change the output value is a upon change I will show you how to define these things on the next session so I'm going to the phone my phone is I'm giving 20 I'm giving bigger phones enter that will be very big and easy to see and I'm using this much area and close this then placing my value is not displayed to the right mouse side or inside the tag then placing my value display here okay I just place my value display here so first we have to get my tank filled with respect to the slider so we have to define the slider before that I'm going to define the digital ones so right click properties you can see the tag assignment tag assignment toggle bit toggle bit you can see the bulb structure dynamic right click and tags go to the tags which are using our digital tag so D ok the update will be right click upon change ok that's it close it and here comes our value display the digital value display 1 or 0 right click properties like I said go to the output or input you can see the output value right click on the dynamic tags the digital tag ok the update will be in upload change and close this we have to the switch and the value display now we have to assign the analog values to the slider so right click properties and go to the tag assignment you can see that the process the process is starting from 50 as by default by you can change the process to zero the process should be starting from zero so okay and the tag should be assigned right click tag which will be the a my analog tag and the rt limit will be changed to the tag also this is a configured action do you really want to delete it yes and we have to assign our predefined tag and the update will be happening in every upon change and we have defined our tags for the slider and we have to define our tags for the tank for the filling for the tag assignment the fill level we have to assign the fill level as go to fill level tag and a which is our tag and the update should be happening in upon change and we have also configured our filling in the tank then we have to we have already defined this IO field go to configuration dialog you can see that IO field we have already defined on the static so we can start our SCADA runtime I am going to go to the runtime the WinCC runtime is going to start so I have to save yes and this should activating the WinCC test startup uh, this will take some time because uh, this is taking some resources we are going to close this SCADA we have to we have to also close this or stop this uh, activation otherwise the system will be lagged due to the uh, resource that is uh, drinking by the scala so our runtime window is here so we can go to the runtime I'm going to start my switch switch is on and the state is 1 switch is off the state is 0 I already configured the switch and light is at digital okay so there is only boolean 0 and 1 value is available there have already given the process value is starting from zero so because of that the slider process value is started from zero so I'm going to update my 
uh, tag with the slider entry. So increasing my values from here, you can see that there is a value display on the slider also. You can give values from here, it's 20 by here by typing the values 20 and also we can increment the level the value display of the uh, tag and log tag a is also displaying from here also and we have configured our slider entry now we are going to do another thing another miscellaneous thing so go to close this and i'm going to show you one more thing that is go to start all programs and you can see the Siemens automation, Sematic, in the Sematic step 7, WinCZ. You can see that tools, inside the tools, the WinCC stack simulator. Okay, we have some actions, miscellaneous action that can be performed with that tag simulation. So we have to open that tag simulation and we are going to delete this one. So delete the slider entry and I am going to simulate with the TAS simulation. Okay. So have to edit, go to edit, new tag. I am going to assign my tag, the analog tag. Okay. The analog tag is here. A and this stuff tag is not active. Go to active and, and now I am going to increment my tag with the increment. The start value should be 0 and the stop value should be 100. And they have to activate it before activation. Have to go to runtime. Okay, once again, I'm going to the runtime. Yes, on the runtime, we are going to simulate our tag with the increment tool. Okay, go to increment. Uh, I'm to going to activate it. Have activated the list of tag. So the condition is active and have to start our simulation. I have started my simulation and you can see that value is incrementing. See the value is incrementing with respect to the cycle time in 1000 millisecond. That is equal to 1 second. Once again go to properties. That should be decremented from the value 100 to 0. Okay. I am going to activate that also. Activate. That is decrementing from 100 to 0. And also I can give the slider input from here. The max will be 100. And then activate 0 to 100. You can give by a slider entry. This is my miscellaneous thing. And the random values also and the oscillations also and the sign values also. The amplitude 0 point oscillation point. The sign mathematical values also you can simulate to the tag simulation window for the WinCC. So hope you understand my video. Thank you.